Hello everyone, my name is Thugruck and today we're going to be doing an advanced tanking demonstration for a level 16 preaching to the dead. This is going to be an advanced tanking demonstration so the pulls are going to be larger, riskier, and in my opinion more fun than normal. Uh, so just be aware of that while you're watching the video. On the uh, boots I have cooldown passive and uh, CD CC passives on the helmet and the chest along with the mace. I'm using Avalonian Mutton Sandwiches for mob clearing and I'll swap to omelets for the boss. I'm bringing a BMS for the boss and I'm bringing a standard skip set as well. On preaching I, uh, oh, I uh, clear far more than the mob count that I need just because I think it's a little bit more fun doing it this way. You can show off a little bit with uh, some of the bigger pulls. And uh, there's one pull in particular that uh, can be between four and five archers. And I always have a rule that I got to try that once per run. Uh, after the one time, then uh, the teammates tend to get a little bit frustrated if I'm failing it. So just got to do one attempt per map. If it works out, great. If it doesn't, then no big deal. We'll just do three. So first thing you do when you get into the map is tell the DPS to reset the archer and pull the skeletons. While they're resetting, I'm going to eat food. Archer should be reset by now. Alright, like I said, going to do one attempt. We'll see how this goes. I have successfully done this on level 18 before, but uh, it's difficult. Alright, so first thing you're going to do is roll past. Going to take the next auto and poison. Helmet. Then E. Build up to four, three auto attacks. Drop your enfeeble. Fourth auto. Snare. Q. Walk away. All right, that worked out pretty well. So uh, doing it that way won't actually work on higher levels. Uh, this is level 16. I think three archers will one shot you on level 18. Um, it might be four archers though. But. Um, if you're able to survive three auto attacks from archers on level 18, you should still be able to do it. And it looks like I only got four archers there. So then there's still one patrolling archer up here. And just to save some time, I'm going to pull these, this uh, sword guy along with him. I don't have E yet, so I'm just going to enfeeble and bridge watch cape. Now I have my E, so I'm going to use it. Fourth auto, snare, give it another Q and walk away. Just typing some text that I'll be using in a future poll here. We're gonna get the healer to stop healing me so I can go next. Gonna pull all the mobs up to here. Four auto attacks. So I've got the archer targeted, which is the one that I care about. So uh, just watching his health bar, looks like he's not going to die this pull. So I'm going to go back in, build up a few auto attacks, cue him again, fourth auto, snare, 
Uh, I'll give him... No, I won't. I was thinking about giving him one more Q, but not going to do that. Archer is dead now, so I can go to the next pole. So, uh, the next pull, we're going to pull all these guys, plus the skeletons, plus the skeletons on the scorpion, plus the skeletons on the checkpoint. And um, that's a massive pull, so that's why I do a full clear before it, just to make sure nothing goes wrong and we have plenty of room to work with or even run away if it comes to that. So now I'm going to uh, send that text that I prepared. Um, we're waiting for the Swordsman Patrol to be over here. There he is. So when he comes over, I'm going to poison. Run through here. Cue these mobs. Walk past the scorpion with helmet. Next, we're going to pull these mobs. Walk past everything, make the scorpion do his ability, and then use E. I missed the swordsman, so I'm just going to do a couple of autos and snare. Get the aggro on the other skeletons. Going to... Try to get aggro on any skellies that spawn. After the E, few auto attacks and enfeeble. Gonna go over and grab the checkpoint. I don't think we had any deaths. Not bad. So then the next pull, just going to poison. I hope I get that second swordsman. I didn't. No luck. Okay. No problem. I'll just pull them all over. Give it a E. Four auto attacks. Snare. Get healed to full. And now we're going to wait for him to walk by. Watching the snare debuff. Now I'm going to drop in feeble. We're gonna run through here. Pick these up. Roll back. Helmet. Bad. Oh, what a lucky bridge watch cape. We're good. Yeah, so normally you don't need to use the extra defensive over here. Uh, you usually only need Enfeeble and you should be good. But since there was the extra patrolling swordsman there, I had to use an extra defensive. Which made uh, controlling the pole a little bit more difficult. Next pole, um, I know a lot of people do... Uh, pull archers off of the mini boss here but uh, I'm gonna pull the archer off of chest along with these two archers and 
I'll show you how. So we're going to target the chest, waiting for the patrols to be out of the way. We're going to poison the chest, and when both of the patrols are in the middle here, we'll walk past them to aggro them. Uh, by poisoning the chest, we'll pull this archer, and we'll pull these by walking past them. So here we go. Poison. Roll. Helmet. E. Q. Three auto attacks. Enfeeble. Fourth auto. Snare. Q. Get out. Roll if you need to. I don't see another auto attack coming though, so we're good. This way we can get the chest while we're here. Uh, DPS just needs to be sure to use their shoes of tenacity. If they don't use their shoes of tenacity and they use Skinner shoes instead, they will die on the next pull when they don't have a way to reset aggro. Looks like we're missing someone. Snare debuff. Just checking, we did get all the skeletons off of chest. Ah, uh, shit. into that a little bit early, but uh, now I have Tenacity Shoes back, so to get past him, you just wait for his ability, and then uh, after his ability is done, you use Invis. So for the next pull, we're going to come over here and just pull these four skeletons out. Okay, we're gonna go. So I was waiting to see where the third mage was, and he was already over there, so I just decided to go for it. Uh, rolled the first one, and I didn't bother using a defensive for the second one, but I think I'm dead here. Not close. Now the healer just needs to walk through and heal me up so I can pull the skeletons. Perfect. There we go, good stuff. So now you can pull the skeletons. Gonna use helmet. He might have used Skinner Shoes the last pull, I'm not sure. But uh, if he used Skinner Shoes, then he definitely got aggro and died because of it. So now we're waiting for this patrol and this patrol to meet up in the middle here so we can pull both of them. So we're going to pull them, roll their auto attack, and we're just going to wait for them to do their ability, walk out of it. After their ability, walk up here, use helmet. E. Do it a Q. Three auto attacks. Grab this guy. And feeble. Q again. Fourth auto. 
snare and roll out. Now we're gonna pick up the skeletons once the archer walks away. What a long auto attack range. Healer. Thank you. So we were gonna roll the big sword guy's auto. I mistimed that. So now to save it, we're going to go right back in. I think I've got it back. I do have it back. Nice. So what happened there was uh, I used my E, well I waited to use my E because I was getting greedy and I wanted to use the E to dodge their auto attacks. However, I dodged the auto attacks and then I, uh, in the stand time from the E, after you cast your E you're not able to move and you're also not invulnerable anymore. So during that time, uh, the swordsman used his... Uh, ability that like one shots me if I'm in the middle and that's how I got one shot so now we're looking for this skeleton to be somewhere around here and um, we want to pull him without pulling the mage which I think can be done there nice so if you can do it by uh, poisoning him or queuing him however you can uh, just get it done use him to pull the rest of the skeletons that way you can do four mages without needing to worry about the skeletons and then we're going to roll the first auto attack poison W helmet the first ability Go back in with E, Q, four auto attacks, sorry, three auto attacks, and feeble, fourth auto, snare, roll out. Drop a feeble and feeble. Four autos, a snare. Should be good. It's gonna kill the shadow. Alright, nice. I was kinda worried there, because uh, they started pulling the skeletons before I was ready, and yeah, but it worked out. Okay, so for the boss, just going to eat your omelet and go on in. I think I forgot to swap the toughness passes, but whatever. Yeah, we have a frost using a uh, beam. We'll be fine. So, uh, I don't know if like DPS are used to tanks interrupting or something, but if you interrupt the abilities, that's wasted time. Like, it lets the boss auto attack more. Uh, if you think about it, an ability is something you can dodge, so since you can dodge it, you should just dodge it, rather than interrupting it. That way I save defensives, uh, the boss spends more time doing damage that can be dodged whereas I'm not able to dodge all of his autos. I am 
gonna grab this uh, jacket though. But yeah, if you're just learning to tank, I would say, like, never interrupt the abilities. You'll just make it harder for yourself. Uh, more experienced tanks with, I don't know, a group of friends or something. Go ahead and interrupt all you want. I know uh, some tanks actually swap to the second queue, which personally I think is incredibly weird, but whatever. I guess I'll interrupt that one. It is tempting to interrupt it, especially when the healer just began his beam. Like, if the healer is still on the first tick of his beam, I'd rather interrupt it than have the healer start a new uh, beam. That's how you do, what was that, uh, 16 preaching. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully you learned a few new polls, um, something that would be fun and um, let you show off a bit or whatever. Um, but end of the day, it's just a video game, guys, so have fun however you can. For me, that's uh, doing big polls that make people raise their eyebrows, you know. So, um, yeah, have a good day. Thanks for watching. See you soon.